Hello, hello, happy Friday. How are you doing today? Well, for those of you who are watching the replay, I'm just already thinking about you. Today I'm talking about the number one website mistake that I see everywhere. <laughs> and then three ways that you can fix it. So if you're joining me live, let me know, write down in the comments that you're here. Let me know you're here. Uh, and also if you have any questions during this live, go ahead and drop them in the comments. I'll try to see if I can see them right away and um, respond to them live. If not, if, you, if you're watching the replay, you can still drop down your comments below, your questions below, and I will uh, try to answer them as fast as I can. Uh, I see Julia. Hello, Julia. Julia's joining us today. How are you? Um, okay, so the number one mistake I see on websites very often, um, I actually see it too on my own clients' websites when they come to me and uh, I bring that, um, that issue up is essentially what what people are more what people and brands of course personal brands business brands are um, inclined to do is to send the message of here we are we're super awesome you know come work with us um, here's what we do uh, goodbye <laughs> kind of like that so um, the the biggest issue is that you you're essentially saying here you are and here's what I sell and this is it so people are constantly you know people that visit your website feel like they're being sold to and they don't really like that so you're kind of like in that sales mode and the constant like me 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 you know about about us not me like specifically but about you know the company and what you guys do and how long you've been in business and so it's it's too much about the company and and too little about the customer or the or the audience so that's the biggest mistake i mean i'm not saying you shouldn't sell on your website after all that's what websites that's one of the biggest goals for websites is of course sales um but it's also lead generation and it's also um, it's also, it's also a tool for you to, um, have your audience or your customer get to know you, get to like you and eventually get to trust you so they can purchase your products or your services. So that's the biggest, um, mistake I see. That's the, I think that's the number one mistake I see everywhere not every single website, but most websites that I see. And I have actually three ways that you can fix this. Um, without you know, and then you could do it right away. It's not something that takes you don't have to move around designs or anything. Um, there actually there's some work, but some of the things that you can do is uh, you can change a little bit of your of your wording on the website and focus more on the problems that you're solving for your customer, for that audience, or for whoever's visiting your website for your target market. So talk about the, your problems not your problems, talk about their problems, what they're facing, the issues they're facing, and talk about your solutions, what you can do for them. Um, so focus on that, like keep th always thinking about, here's the problem you're going through, talking to your audience, here's the problem you're going through, and here's my solution, he here's my solution, here's what I can do for you. Um, so that's a bit of a wording that you can change, and that could definitely be right up top on the front page, on your home page. And, and you might want to change that language a little bit in other pages too, depending on how many pages you have and which ones you have. Um, especially in services pages or even products pages. Depending on the product you have, of course, you're not going to, um, in every single product you have, if you have like an e-commerce store, for example, you're not going to talk about every solution for every single product you have if you have way too many. But you can definitely do a category style, like, you know, the solutions of a category of products you, you offer. Um, and, and in case of services, um, it's the same thing. So the services, it's usually, you know, not more than three or four. Maybe you've offered more services, but you should always just focus on your three biggest services. The, if you do have more than one service that you provide uh, and the three biggest ones, you don't want to confuse or, or overwhelm the audience that comes to your website. So that's that's number one. That's the, 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 the one thing that you can do to fix that. The second one is... Um, Focus on on your website as a customer service tool. So think about the questions that they might have. Think about like the FAQs that people usually have, you know, the frequently asked questions 
that people um, have when they're looking for a product like yours or a service like yours. Um, so you can use that, you know, think about it as, as a customer service tool. So instead of just, you know, having people call to uh, figure out things about your product, which is sometimes what we do, but use it as a customer service tool. So answer those questions. Um, that's number two, that's very important, which it, that actually helps a lot. Um, it, it makes your audience trust you more um, on what you're offering. It, it, you kind of become more of an authority if you're actually providing the answers to their, to their questions. And number three is, uh, again, it's, it's very close to number two actually, but I'm, talk, I'm talking more about your, your constant content. So to always deliver helpful content and do it consistently. Don't just use your website once and make it static, like there's, that's the information and you set it and you forget it. That's not what your website is for. That's like back when we just did brochures, when we just did flyers. Those are the things that you kind of set it and then that's it, the information is there, you can't really change it. Use your website as a tool to actually make it evolve. So you're, you're constantly providing new content. You're constantly providing you know, uh, help or like I said, customer service. So you're constantly providing some kind of a helpful content to your audience. Um, and then, and be consistent with that. So if you do it every week, keep doing it every week. If you do it once a month, do it once a month. So that, that consistency helps as well. You know, brings, again, it brings out the trust within um, your audience. So those are the three things that you can do to fix the number one mistake on your website. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you're, if you're here um, and if you'd like to ask me anything about this, if you have any questions about your website or, or even your branding, um, just drop them down. But these are the three ways that you can fix it. And these are easy fixes. I'm not talking about like major design, major redesign, or you know, a brand new website. That's not it. Just change your wording a little bit um, to focus on those three things and, um, and, and as you're as you're creating that content just focus on helping your audience helping the people that are coming to your website okay so i see lorraine lorraine says hi sibila thank you for your lives thank you there's lorraine right there how are you uh so good to see you uh okay so i hope this helped again have a great day, uh, a great weekend, if you're definitely watching this on Friday. <laughs> have a great weekend, and I do hope this helped. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Alrighty, thank you so much, everyone. Take care.